Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I am working on an art journal page. This one is for the Facebook group of Monthly Art Journal Challenge. Um, they usually pick a destination, and then you create an art journal page based on that destination. And this destination was Egypt. I saw an image on Pinterest, because I was like Googling um, Egyptian art or Egyptian folk art, and then I decided to search modern Egyptian artists because I really didn't want to do the traditional Egyptian sort of um, style. And I saw this really cool painting and this is my feeble, feeble attempt to recreate it. <laughs> um, it had multiple colors in the background. Um, I don't have a lot of colors in my dilutions and I wanted to use my dilutions. So I am just using the turquoise and the yellow and mixing it with a little bit of white so you get some variation. And you can see I'm making a big mess of myself. <laughs> but finger painting is a lot of fun, so you should try it sometime. Anyway, this video is kind of long. If you want to speed it up even faster, I do have it like sped up way fast. You can see how fast my hands are moving. Um, but it, it did have a lot of steps. so. Um, I'm just gonna play some music and let you watch. I might pop in and say something every once in a while, but I hope you enjoy. I'm adding more white here because I felt I needed white for the yellow to go on top of because I didn't want green too much. And then my film must have cut out and you don't see me put the yellow on. But it's already too long so you're okay with that, right? <laughs> um, this page already had some uh, texture paste on it um, that had been put through a leaf stencil. It was just le leftover texture paste. I just turned to a paste in my journal and scraped it on through the stencil um, and decided it would be fun to use that for this project. And I'm outlining it with a uh, gold pen and let's see if I can tell you the name of that gold pen if I can remember where I stashed it last. Maybe not. <laughs> yes, you can hear me digging through my stuff. Okay, I found it. It's a pilot gold marker. I didn't realize it was pilot. But it's like way um, reflective at the right angle. And pretty dark. It's a lot of fun to draw with. It's very fluid. It, it works really well. I don't have any trouble um, drying on paint with it. This flower I'm drawing on with my black Posca, but once I get them drawn on, I decide they need gold, so I add the gold pen over the top. 
it makes it even darker, but I think it still works. So to make my flowers pop a little bit more, I'm trying to lighten them up. I'm using a Hampton Art Chalk, chalk Marker. Um, it worked a little bit. It gave it enough of a whiteness for it to um, pop above the background a little bit.
I guess I should tell you that the, um, I'd say bronzy color marker is an opaque pigment marker um, by Sakura. It has a fine, a bullet, kind of a big bullet tip and then a really big chisel tip on it. And then I'm just using my Precise V5 by Pilot to give it some black lines around things just to, I don't know, add some more interest to the page, make it not look quite so flat. So here I'm using my Signo Uniball white pen to add a little bit more white highlights to the um, leaf pattern just so that it stands out a little bit more. I 
I think I put a little bit on the flowers as well. So I thought that space was kind of empty so I added some more lines to it and now to work on our focal point. So I've already sketched out the cat. This is not an original design by me. Um, it's one I found and thought I would try to sketch it. I did not trace it, I sketched it so it's not exactly the same but it's kind of close. So it's just for fun, right? And we're just, I'm just using Crayola colored pencils because that's what was right nearby that I could grab. And we're going to color him. I'm using black and violet and indigo to try and make him kind of dark to be a black cat.
some black again. And that's the dog. Don't mind him. <laughs> and I'm pulling out my black pen again just to define some of the lines. Oh goodness. I don't know what he's barking at. Hang on. So I'm gluing it on with some heavy gel medium and now I'm just taking my Stabilo awl and creating a ground for him to be sitting on. So I'm just going to do a little shading right at that line, make it look like a surface. And of course trying to go around the leaves and the flower patterns so they stay in the front. And I decide he needs a little bit of shading. It's just not quite as dark as I want him to be. Probably if I'd picked something besides Crayola. Well, and I just sketched it on copy paper too, so. And there we go! See there you can see the reflectiveness of that gold pen. Well, I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.